Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how I resin my coasters. This is the brand I use, Epoxy Glass is a Barnes brand. This is part A and part B of the resin. One's a hardener. I'm going to pour both the liquids into two little plastic shot glasses. It's important to have the same amount of each. I'm going to use these wooden skewers to help stir the mixture. And I'm going to pour both the mixtures into this bigger plastic cup. Also guys, remember it's important to wear a mask while you're using this resin, this brand at least. It's not just a dust mask, but it's a fumes mask as well. For two of them it cost me about $8, so make sure you get one of them just to be safe. Okay, so now I'm going to pour both of the liquids into the bigger plastic cup and give it a stir for about three to four minutes, making sure I scrape down the sides really, really well and give it a really, really good stir. So as you can see, both of the liquids are now in the, in the bigger cup and I'm just giving it a really good stir, making sure I scrape down the sides and also really getting into the bottom as well, making sure that it's really uh, mixed quite well together. And I spend about three to five minutes giving this a mix. So I'm not doing it too fast because obviously the more you kind of swish it around, the more bubbles you're gonna get in it. Um, so as you can see, it's just, yeah, a pretty good stir. So now we are inside my art room and I am just going to pour the resin on these coasters that I'm doing at the moment. So I still have my mask on, so um, it's important to make sure you've got good ventilation if you're doing this inside. Uh, and I'm also wearing a mask just because the fumes are quite strong with this brand. Um, as you can see, I've just poured about maybe a tablespoon of liquid onto the coasters and I'm just spreading it around with uh, the skewer. So far I've found the end of the skewers to be the easiest thing to spread the resin around but of course you can use a brush or a sponge or even a piece of cardboard uh, and then throw it out afterwards obviously so the most cost effective thing I've found at the moment is just skewers. So as you can see I'm just spreading the little liquid out really lightly. I really don't like wasting this uh, resin. So I'm, um, yeah, I'm just trying to do a nice light layer on the top and then I'm going to pour a little bit more on to go down the sides as well. Some people tape the sides of their coasters and I have tried that, uh, but for me it's just, it's, uh, it's just a little bit too time intensive. So I'm just going to be putting the resin uh, around the sides of the coasters. As you can see, I'm just pouring a little bit more on top now. Not much more, maybe like a little bit more than a teaspoon. Like I said, I don't like wasting the resin, so I really don't want to be using too much. I don't want to be wasting too much to run down the sides. So I'm just going to wipe it on with a skewer first, spread it out, and then I'm going to just use my fingers to do the sides.
Right, so now I'm just going to use my fingers to spread the resin around and wipe it along the sides of the coasters. It's pretty easy. Just making sure I'm not getting any underneath. Um, and I'm just conscious of obviously no drips dripping onto the other coasters as well. And just trying to wipe it across all the sides so I don't miss any spots. And like I said, I'm trying not to get any underneath because I don't want it to stick to the wooden um, block that I'm going to be sitting it on. So I'll come back and check these in about 15 minutes as well, just to make sure there's no drips. I'll wipe them off. Um, but if it does dry, then I can always get a um, file to file them off if need be. So they're looking pretty good at the moment. Just going to lift it up a bit and make sure there's no resin on the bottom. Give it a good wipe with my finger around the sides and around the bottom. And rest them down on the wooden blocks that I've got. So I don't think I've got any drips underneath. But I'm just going to give them another check over just to be sure. And here we have my chef's torch. This is what we use to get rid of the bubbles out of the resin. I have foil on it just to make sure no resin gets into the torch and wrecks it. And as you can see, I'm just going to lightly go over the coasters just to bring up all those bubbles that I don't want. And that'll give it that nice glass clear finish. And that pretty much sums it up for today, guys. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Make sure you share it with anybody thinking to give resin a go themselves. Like and subscribe for future videos. And as always, thanks for watching. See ya.